What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is the second installment in the original Star Wars trilogy, The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back, first requested to me by Dennis Sawyer, and of course directed by creator George Lucas, continues the Star Wars saga as their group of heroes try to take down the evil empire and stop their methods of oppression that are sweeping across the galaxy. Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, and other crew members spend the majority of the film fighting the Galactic Empire, while our previously mentioned protagonist Luke Skywalker trains to be a Jedi in the hopes that he can destroy the villainous Darth Vader and the Empire as a whole. Alright, so The Empire Strikes Back is considered a cinema classic for a multitude of different reasons, but it's also considered to be one of the best sequels of all time, and that's certainly well deserved, because this is definitely the best film from the original trilogy, and certainly the one that holds up the best almost 40 years later. The Empire Strikes Back is my second favorite Star Wars film, just behind The Force Awakens, which I'll probably take a lot of shit for, considering how trendy it is to hate on The Force Awakens right now, but that's that's a discussion for another time. I like Empire Strikes Back a lot because it does all the things a sequel should and then some. It expands and naturally progresses the conflict in a satisfying fashion, it progresses the main characters in very meaningful ways, and it's exciting and bigger than the first installment. What more could you ask for? Star Wars has always been a franchise that's first and foremost about the characters. The galaxy and the sci-fi backdrop are sort of just a means to an end when you think about it. These are stories that primarily revolve around one family and their immediate social circle and it just so happens that their conflict happens to affect the rest of the galaxy as well. So when Empire Strikes Back hit theaters, it had a huge burden on its hands to develop and progress these extremely unique characters in a way that would be satisfying to a wide range of audiences. And I think that's what George Lucas and his writers did here, and they did it exceptionally because I felt like there was a clear growth, especially in the big three and Luke, Han, and Leia, that happens over the course of this film, and they just feel different and evolved from their characters in A New Hope. We watch Han solidify his evolution into a character that doesn't flee from the fight because it's easy, we watch Luke learn and develop his skills as a Jedi and become more confident in his abilities and decision making, and we watch Leia become an even greater leader of the crew as she makes tough decisions that ultimately work out in the best interest of the Rebels. There's a lot of very natural growth and development for all of these characters, and that's a crucial part to the film's successes. Watching our beloved crew evolve and mature and eventually turn into the heroes they're meant to be is not only one of the best parts of Empire Strikes Back, but the whole Star Wars saga as a whole, because nothing is given to any of these characters. They have certain natural abilities and skills, sure, but they fight tooth and nail for what they believe in, and that in turn allows them to become something greater and more heroic than they ever anticipated they could be. It also helps that Empire Strikes Back is a much darker film than A New Hope, and I think that actually serves the characters well because throwing them some adversity that they don't completely overcome is fantastic for their development, because the Empire does in fact strike back in this film, and you can can definitely say that the Empire wins this round. That's important for both the characters and the trilogy itself because at this point the score is one to one in a best of three contest so to speak. It's not like this film is overly dark by any means, it's just darker than A New Hope partially because the heroes don't win this time around but also because you spend more time watching Darth Vader and the Empire do some evil stuff like killing their own men for failing to carry out certain orders. It's darker because you watch the Empire have increased success in the evil actions they take and that's something that parallels the purpose of the story, The Empire Striking Back. I really did enjoy the darker tone that resonated throughout this film though, and I absolutely love every single scene that Darth Vader's in. I mean, he's not considered one of the greatest villains of all time for nothing. He's so intimidating, so scary, and just a badass character that raises the stakes so much simply because of how imposing he is. He's the perfect Star Wars villain. The Empire Strikes Back also has so many pivotal scenes that not only direct the future narratives, but that have also become some of the most iconic scenes in the entire franchise. Spoiler warning here if you haven't seen the film, but I think the biggest one has to be the giant reveal during the climax where Vader tells Luke that he's his father. I'm sure that this was absolutely mind-bending stuff at the time because to the best of my knowledge, nothing in the trailers ever seemed to indicate that this would be the case. I still get chills when Vader delivers the line, No, I am your father. This may just be the most iconic line and maybe seen in Star Wars history because it's such a pivotal moment that really sends the saga in a whole new direction. It's still a battle of good versus evil, but it clearly becomes a space opera at this very point. The story becomes a family conflict right in this scene, and ever since then it's always been a family conflict with other parties getting involved as the story progresses. Part of what makes this scene so exceptional though is the lightsaber battle that occurs that leads to Luke getting his hand chopped off. I think this is definitely the best 
lightsaber battle from the original trilogy because it felt very raw and even very unpolished. Besides the part where Luke gets hit with the boxes, I feel like this is one of the better lightsaber battles in the entire franchise. I think it holds up pretty well even 40 years later. The action and visual experience as a whole really don't look great by 2017 standards, but I think the film holds up fairly well, all things considered. I think when you watch Empire Strikes Back in HD, you'll see that with some slight adjustments, this is a movie that was a fairly excellent visual experience for its time. Star Wars is extremely influential in a number of different ways, but the visual offerings are certainly near the top of the list. And generally, this is considered the best installment in the Star Wars franchise, the entire Star Wars franchise. A big part of what people love about it is how exciting it is. There's several scenes where our crew is either escaping Empire Grasp or they're in direct combat with Imperial forces. These action scenes are some of the best the franchise has ever created because I felt so uneasy the entire time, even though I knew exactly what was going to happen. That's the sign of a great film, when you know what's going to happen and you still feel exactly what the filmmakers want you to every time you watch. It's brilliant, really. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention the great John Williams. Star Wars is also known for its iconic score that really nails and really sets the feel and the tone of the entire story. John Williams created something that will live forever because anytime you think of Star Wars, you think of the Imperial March, and of course you think of the main theme that accompanies the opening crawl. It's one of the best scores ever written, and it's noticeable in a good way in Empire Strikes Back. It really immerses you fully into this chaotic galaxy. But overall, The Empire Strikes Back is a classic for a reason. It provides an extremely satisfying follow-up to A New Hope and amps up the experience in every way possible. I thought it had some fantastic character development, excellent action and visuals, an iconic score, and a brilliant climax. I'm going to give The Empire Strikes Back a 10 out of 10 because obviously there's nothing I don't like about it and definitely recommend you watch this one if you haven't already. Obviously watch A New Hope first though if you haven't seen it. So what are your guys' thoughts on The Empire Strikes Back? Is it your favorite Star Wars movie? Let me know why or why not. And also let me know whether you're excited for The Last Jedi or not. I am beyond hype. I cannot wait to see these characters again. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.